Welcome kids, moms and dads. We're so blessed to see you and spend time together as we gather around to enjoy our Kids Church family experience and learn more about our great God. Thank you for making us a part of your weekend. My name is Viv Stone and I'm the Kids Church pastor here at Christian Assembly Church. Welcome, welcome. Hey kids, I love our weekly interviews, the Zoom meetings, even our Kids Church videos that have showcased you and allow us to see all the amazing gifts and talents God has given you. Some of you sing so beautifully or play instruments. Some of you are great at art and creativity or science, math, and history. We're gonna learn about making the most of what we've been given, and our young'uns will be learning about God's greatness over nature. So let's get on with our video. Enjoy and share. Are you ready? Here we go. Hey everyone, we are now in the fourth week of our series all about a man named Moses. It's been so much fun to learn about his life because of all the incredible ways that God was with Moses at different parts of his life. When Moses was just a baby in the basket, God was with him. When Moses ran away from Egypt, God was with him. When Moses saw the burning bush, God was there. And when Moses went back to Egypt to ask Pharaoh to let his people go, God was there too. This week, we're going to learn about how we can be brave whenever we feel scared because God is with us. God's always with us because he loves us more than we could ever imagine. Our story today is called Moses and the Red Sea. It's one of the most incredible things that God has done, and I can't wait for you to learn about it. You may already know it, but we're going to do a review and learn more about it this week. This weekend is also a kingdom weekend, and that means that we get to take a few minutes to learn about what God is doing through Kids Church, outside of our church, and around the world. So let's take a look and meet a new friend. In Kids Church, when we talk about kingdom, we use the word out. For us, that means that we participate in what God is doing here and around the world by reaching out with His love in word and deed. One of the ways we do that in Kids Church is by supporting kids from around the world. This is Sarah. We have loved being her friend since 2011, when she was seven. Sarah lives in Uganda with her parents and three sisters. Her birthday is September 14th. She is 16. Sarah spends the most time with her father. She celebrates her birthday by drinking soda and juice. Sarah likes to hear the drums at her church and listen to the radio because it gives her good news. Her favorite subject in school is history. During the COVID pandemic, Sarah has been doing home-based learning and her village received sanitation stations so they can wash their hands. When Jesus was asked, what is the most important commandment? This is what he said. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul. Love him with all your mind. This is the first and most important commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Sponsoring these children is one of the ways that Kids Church has chosen to live out this instruction from Jesus. Our prayer will always be that through our gifts, each child will experience the love and compassion and care of God. We're thankful for Sarah. She lives in Uganda, and we're thankful that God can watch over her. We pray that she gets the COVID vaccines and her village soon. We pray that she gets everything that she needs. G Jesus' name, amen.
and the Red Sea. This is Moses, who was an Israelite born in Egypt in a time when Israelite boys were not supposed to live. Wait, huh? Moses, however, grew up in the palace of the Pharaoh, the very man who was enslaving the Israelite people. When Moses grew up, he made a big mistake uh -oh. and fled Egypt uh -oh. to live with the Midianites. But God called Moses back to Egypt ah. to deliver his people with the help of his brother Aaron. Whew. The Pharaoh did not want to let God's people go, and God showed his power throughout all Egypt by sending plagues. Even with all the suffering, Pharaoh's heart stayed hard, and he would not let the people go. On the night of the last plague, Pharaoh woke up huh? and heard a great cry in Egypt. Oh, no. For there was not a house in Egypt where someone was not dead. Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and told him to be gone with the Israelites. So the Israelites immediately left Egypt and made their way for the promised land, taking with them many riches from Egypt. They took Joseph's bones as they had promised him many years before. 
God led them by a pillar of fire by night and a cloud by day. God told Moses to have the people camp along the shore of the Red Sea. Okay, got it. What's up in here? God told Moses that the Egyptians would come after them, but that God would show his glory and power through this. Pharaoh changed his mind and readied his army to take back the Israelites. The Egyptians found the Israelites camped along the shore of the sea. As Pharaoh and his armies came close, the Israelites panicked. They cried out to God and asked Moses, why did you bring us out here to die in the wilderness? But Moses told the people, don't be afraid. The Lord himself will fight for you. Just stay calm. Then God said to Moses, why are you crying out to me? Tell the people to get moving. All right. As night came, the pillar of cloud became fire and it went between the Israelites and the Egyptians. Then Moses raised his hand over the sea and God opened a path through the water with a strong wind. The wind blew all that night, turning the seabed into dry land. Come on, are you? So the people of Israel walked through the middle of the sea on dry ground with walls of water on each side. Come on. Then the Egyptians chased the Israelites into the middle of the sea. But just before dawn, God looked down on the Egyptian army from the pillar of fire and cloud, and he threw their forces into total confusion. Let's get out of here, away from these Israelites. The Egyptians shouted, the Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. When all the Israelites had reached the other side, God said to Moses, Raise your hand over the sea again. You got it. Moses raised his hand over the sea and the water rushed back into its usual place. The Egyptians tried to escape, but God swept them into the sea. That is how God rescued Israel from the hand of the Egyptians that day. When the people of Israel saw the mighty power that God had shown against the Egyptians, they were amazed. They put their faith in God and in his servant, Moses. God had an amazing plan for Moses and the Israelites. He even performed a miracle through Moses by parting the Red Sea. Even though Moses and the Israelites were scared, the Bible says that God was with them the entire time. And just like when we're scared, we can be brave knowing that God is always with us. God promises to be by our sides forever because He loves us so much. Today, I have an activity to help us see how powerful God was when He parted the Red Sea. This container of water represents the Red Sea. When the Israelites came to the Red Sea, there was no way for them to get across on their own. The water would not part just like this. The Israelites were scared because they knew that Pharaoh was chasing after them. But Moses asked God to help them, and God sent a mighty wind, and it separated the waters and made a path for them to cross, just like this. God kept that wind going all night so that the water was parted and that so all of the Israelites could cross. It was scary for them to trust God and to trust that He would protect them. But just like the Israelites, when we feel scared, we can be brave knowing that God is always with us. If you want to try this activity, all you need is water, a container, and a straw. When you do the activity, remember that God was always with the Israelites and He'll always be with you. Now let's see what craft we're going to do today. Bye friends!
Just like God was with the Israelites when they crossed the Red Sea, God is always with us too. Even when we face scary things, we can be brave because we know God is with us. For the craft today, you will need these two print-offs. You'll need a pair of scissors, some glue, either a piece of paper or a paper plate. Markers. And then either a stapler or some tape. So first color this paper as well as your waves. When you're done coloring your print offs, go ahead and cut them out. All right, next you're going to glue the circle print off to the middle of your paper plate or to the middle of your paper. You're going to do is take your waves and you're going to put one right here and then one on the other side so you're going to staple and tape your waves just on the end so I'll show you what I mean so you could take your stapler staple the end I just stapled the end of the waves right here and here, or you can tape them or glue them. Glue might be hard, it might, be, it might take a while for it to actually dry, but then you can pull the waves back in the same way that God parted the Red Sea so that his people could walk across safely. So this is Moses leading the people through the Red Sea. Very cool. Now let's take a look at a special verse in the Bible. This verse tells us that we can be brave because God is always with us. But wait, it's all covered in bubbles. Let's pop the bubbles so we can see our verse.
come together. Can you clap your hands? Can you clap your hands over here? And over here. And up high. Hey, I'm Joey. And I'm a good, good Gus. Welcome to the Scuffington Reptile Reserve. Today we are taking care of an albino Burmese python. Her name's Sunshine. Isn't she amazing? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> the albino Burmese python is the second largest snake in the world. They can grow up to 20 feet long and swallow something 10 times bigger than its own head. Ah, what? Gus, there's nothing to be afraid of. I mean, that's like me swallowing a watermelon in one gulp. Okay, I'm out. No, that's it. Gus, I'm wait, wait, Gus, where are you going? Away from the giant snake that could swallow me whole! Gus, Sunshine wouldn't do that. She's actually very sweet, and she's really gentle. Oh, yeah, you can say that because you're not a little guy like me. Gus, it's okay. I'll hold Sunshine. You don't have to be afraid. I am not afraid. I am terrified! <laughs> Gus, Gus, I'm with you, and there's someone who's always with you, too. Yeah, the terrifying snake around your neck! No, someone other than that. Is it another snake? <laughs> No, Gus, it's not another snake. It's God. I mean, God is with you all the time. When you feel scared, you can be brave because God is with you. He's going to protect you. How do you know that? Well, Gus, I've seen God take care of me. And there are a lot of stories in the Bible that show us that God is with us. Remember the guy we've been talking about lately? And Moses? Yes, and, and the Israelites. Remember, he was being chased by an entire army of Egyptians. Mm -hmm. And they had nowhere to go because they were right at the edge of the Red Sea. Oh, that's not the scariest standing next to a snake. <laughs> it was probably scary for them, but God was with them. I mean, God even parted the sea so they could walk on dry land, and he rescued them from the Egyptians. Okay, that's amazing. And God is so big and strong and powerful. He is. And friends, remember that. When you feel scared, you can be brave because God is with you. Okay, I am gonna be brave right now, and I'm gonna pet sunshine. All right, go for it, Gus. Hi. Okay, I, I guess you're right. See, she's pretty nice. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, well, let's go get her something to eat. What no! do you say? No! Uh, Gus, uh, come on, you can be brave, buddy. Okay, okay. Friends, we'll see you next time out here at the Scuppertin Reptile Reserve. And remember, you can be brave even when you're scared, right, Gus? Yeah. All right, God loves you so much. And so do we. Bye, guys. Bye. What a great video. I love that Joey reminded Gus that even when he was scared, God was with him the whole time. And just like Gus, God is always with us too. When the Israelites got to the other side of the Red Sea, they were amazed at what God had done to protect them. In fact, when they were safe on the other side, they sang a song of praise. They worshiped God for the wonderful and amazing thing that he had done for them. Now, I want to give you and your family a few moments to remember God's power and goodness in your lives. So we're going to act out crossing the Red Sea. In just a few minutes, I want you to stand up and stand on one side of the room. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take turns sharing a way that God has been good to your family or just a way that he's been good to you personally. It might be something like, God kept me safe this week. Or this week I got to play a fun game. Or this week I got to talk with someone that I love and I miss. Now every time someone shares something good that God has done for your family, everyone will take one step forward. You're going to try and get to the other side of the room or cross the Red Sea. Now, if your room is really big, you could also lay a blanket on the floor and pretend that it's the Red Sea and take steps to get across that. Remembering how God has been good to us is just a simple way of focusing on how God is always with us, just like he was with the Israelites. Let me pray before your family does this activity. God, thank you for loving us and for always being there for us. Please help us remember that even when we feel scared, we can be brave knowing that you are with us. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, friends, instructions will come up on the next screens for you to play the Cross the Red Sea game. 
I hope you guys have fun remembering God's goodness. See you next week. Friends, we hope you enjoyed this week's Kids Church family experience. We are thankful for each and every one of you, and we are praying for your families. I think you're going to like this week's riddle. Ready? What gets bigger when more is taken away? A hole. Bye, guys.